in Ukraine continues unabated. The narrative from Russia over its justification for its actions has become more hardline. Last week, President Putin promised what he called a lightning-quick response if NATO or other Western nations intervened. Both Putin and his foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, have spoken about Russia being compelled to use nuclear weapons. So how is the war being spoken about in Russia? Well, for more on this, let's go over to Glina Polanskaya. Uh, Glina, always good to talk to you. So um, we know that President Putin has warned about this lightning-quick response if countries intervene in Ukraine, but he's not the only political voice taking a hard line, is he? Indeed, uh, the Speaker of Russia's lower house of parliament, Vyacheslav Volodin, today has issued another warning to the Western countries. In the Telegram post, he wrote uh, that countries who supply Ukraine with weapons uh, can, quote, encounter big problems as they become a part of the conflict. And uh, he wrote also that they are pushing the world towards a catastrophe. Now, the Russian foreign ministry has uh, um, been uh, trying to downplay uh, the, um, the official uh, position, let's say, uh, saying that Russia uh, does not represent a risk uh, and that uh, those who say that there is a risk, nuclear risk, coming from Russia are spreading fake news and the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in a recent interview given yesterday to the Italian TV broadcast the media said, said that Russia has done everything in the past uh, to avoid any nuclear conflict and uh, that uh, if the risk is coming, is coming from the statements of the Western leaders. So what Russia is saying is that there is a risk of a nuclear conflict but it does not come from Moscow. Now, Lena, you're mentioning the uh, fake news. Now, we know that there has, of course, been this crackdown on any dissenting uh, voices in the media. So how is the war being portrayed from within Russia? Well, the narrative of the state TV uh, is becoming more and more dark and, I would say, extreme with every day. Uh, I, would, I will just give you one example. On Sunday, the host of the primetime mm. uh, uh, weekly news program, uh, Vesti 20. Uh, for uh, Dmitry Kisilov, he's one of the top pro Kremlin anchors, uh, um, actually where is it? Where is it? spoke about two ways of how uh, Russia could uh, destroy the UK no, with a nuclear attack. Um, it just, uh, I, uh, I would like to explain that the Russian state propaganda um, says that it is Ukraine which is seeking to attack Russia, and that's uh, why uh, Dmitry Kisilov was. Uh, speaking about uh, some kind of response. So he said that Russia could use uh, its intercontinental ballistic missile, Sarmat, which it, it has tested recently, uh, or um, the new underwater robotic drone Poseidon. And there was a graphics showing actually this um, drone Poseidon and Kisilov with his face in the dark uh, was uh, literally saying, quote, the explosion of the missile near Britain's coast would raise a giant radioactive tsunami wave and uh, it would turn whatever it might be left of uh, the British Isles into a radioactive desert. And at the end he addressed directly to Boris Johnson saying one launch Boris and there would be no Britain at all. So that's what the state propaganda is telling the Russians on prime time on Sunday.